Alicia Bistrin. I'm the president of the New York League of Conservation Voters. You know, after reviewing the field of mayoral candidates, it became abundantly clear that only one candidate has truly made sustainability a priority. Only one candidate has gone the distance time and again, and only one candidate has demonstrated the leadership necessary to make this a cleaner and healthier city. That candidate is Chris Quinn. She has played a critical role with the environmental community in moving legislation on everything ranging from greener buildings to pushing the, new, the frontiers on recycling and to a food initiative that will finally bring healthy food to neighborhoods across the city of New York. Perhaps most importantly, she's demonstrated she is a leader. You know, it's easy to say you support the environment. Almost everyone does. But it's a totally different thing to make tough decisions and make things happen. The Solid Waste Management Plan is a case in point, as is the facility behind us. Being a strong, tough, reliable leader, isn't that what we're looking for as mayor? We're delighted. Chris Quinn, the mayor of the city. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, am thrilled to receive uh, the support of Marcia and the League of Conservation voters. You know, if we are going to make sure that this city is the greatest it can be, that it's the best place for families to live and businesses to open, we need to make sure that we don't just keep our commitment to sustainability alive, that we you know, as we stand here next to the Hudson River, a river that not so long ago broke over this park and made, it, made its way to some of the buildings near here, in a city where, during Hurricane Sandy, neighborhoods were devastated. We are reminded that planning for the environmental future of this city is the incredibly important job of our next mayor. And as we stand here next to this sanitation facility, uh, in the Hudson River Park, I am so proud of the work that I've been able to do with the League of Conservation Voters. You know, some in this city want all of the garbage and municipal uses to continue to be placed into low-income communities of color. I and the League of Conservation Voters together, we say those days are over, that everyone has a responsibility to make our city the greenest and the healthiest it can be. We say that getting six million miles of truck traffic off of the roads is a good thing for all New York children. And that means the West Village doing its part. That means the Upper East Side doing its part. That means every borough and every neighborhood doing its part. I'm so grateful to Lee and Conservation Voters, not just for this endorsement, but for their tremendous partnership in my eight years as Speaker. We would never have passed the Solid Waste Management Plan without them. We would not have passed a uh, green buildings law, which when it is fully implemented, will reduce the carbon footprint of the city of New York, reduce it to the equivalent of the entire carbon footprint of Oakland, California. We wouldn't have been able to do that if we didn't do it together. Together, we expanded recycling, including most plastics, created a plastic bag recycling program, again, making New York City an urban recycling leader. And together, when I'm mayor, we will make sure this city is climate change ready. We will get our carbon footprint down even more. And perhaps most importantly, we will sustainably embrace the biggest infrastructure project of our time, becoming climate change ready. So I thank the League of Conservation voters. I also just want to note that being green is good for the environment. I was recently with a, uh, a trucking company in the South Bronx. They retrofit trucks to make them non-polluting. This man told me he can't keep up with the demand for mechanics. So I also look forward to working with the League on growing the green opportunity, green job opportunity to create good middle class jobs for New Yorkers. So thank you, Marcia. Thank you for our good